Hello there, my name is Ismaus, and uh, today I wanted to update you on the progress of uh, my free texturing course over my second, uh, that I'm uploading on my second channel, uh, Blender Money. So you can see that uh, I've started uploading some of the parts uh, there. I'm still adding more content, and uh, in this video, I just wanted to go over what we are exactly doing. So uh, we are creating uh, a shader or a template a shader uh, that we can use for all these other objects we have in our scene as you can see that uh, i'm using this template uh, for now uh, to create a shader for this table and uh, this uh sorry this chair and this table and uh, then after i can use uh, the same template uh, with uh, some changes uh for this uh, for this lamp uh the box and everything and uh, you can see i uh, just look at uh, this and this uh, this is the template we are working on. Uh, so it's just a one a node uh, that you can use to control all the other all the things you, you want on this shader. So you can see that uh, we have this uh, painted wood uh, shader, and uh, I can control uh, what the color of the paint. And you can see it's changing for both uh, these objects uh, because it's a template that is being applied to uh, different materials, and uh, can change how much. Uh, worn out areas how uh, we have here uh, so if I can uh, find that so this is the worn out amount I can control that using just a single slider so in the in the course I show you how to set up everything here and I'll be adding more uh, courses and uh, yeah so that you can do this on your own and uh, start creating shaders uh, that you can use uh, somewhere else so say I wanted to change instead of using this painted uh, texture say I wanted to just use normal wood uh, you can just do that by adding another is replacing this paint texture uh, this paint uh, color uh, with a uh, with actual uh, texture wood texture or whatever material you're trying to use and I uh, can see uh, what we have and uh, maybe if you wanted this to look more worn out if you want to have that worn out look you just add a color I'll be adding all these uh, options inside the are uh, the one are uh, this template here or not group or should I if you whatever you want to call it uh, so that you can control everything uh, from there so you can see so you can basically create a lot of things out with this shader and uh, that's what I'm teaching you in the uh, in the course uh, so let me go over other things here just to show you what we're doing I'm also adding uh, some dust uh, if you want uh, this the chair to look a bit dusty, I'm also adding a dust uh, sh uh, part option so that you you can uh, do that. You can also even get the ch the, uh, the option to change the dust color. So you can see that uh, dust has col start started collecting uh, in different areas. Also, uh, I will be adding more and more options, and uh, you can see we even have an option to control. Uh, the roughness of the shader. Uh, as I said, this is going to be a template uh, that you can use on other objects. So let's see how uh, this would work on, let's say, uh, this watch here. Let me just select these and then link this to this material. So you can see uh, you have Again, you have to make a few changes to the template uh, so that it works with a new object. Uh, and uh, one of the main things you have to change is that uh, you have to use a cavity map uh, for the objects you are using. You have selected or you have applied the template to. So let me just duplicate this uh, shader and uh, find my cavity map, which should be, you can see we have the ambient occlusion map and the, uh, the cavity map, which should be, I think, here. Uh, so I'm going to set this up again i'll be i'm still adding to the course so i haven't got to this part but uh, i'll be i'll be simplifying this so that you you see only uh, the relevant things you want to uh the relevant things needed to uh, for the shader to work properly so most of these things you will not after we complete uh, the shader uh, you will not be able to, to just change them you won't see them uh, so that everything looks a bit cleaner and uh, if you are, if you are more advanced in this, uh, you can just tab into uh, this to look at the node setup and uh, change everything directly in here. So let's uh, just make sure that this works with uh, our shader here. So I've already baked out the cavity map and uh, 
uh, amino occlusion map so i just need to switch them out uh, for uh, the for the actual shader that we are using here so let's see this is want uh, the cavity map for, for our clock and you can see now how things uh, look uh, then you start playing around with different settings how much you can see how we're starting to capture uh, those details yeah so I'll be adding on a lot of things on top of this uh, to make it uh, look better and better so, so we have more control uh, over the different objects we have in our scene so this is exactly what we're doing and now we still have a lot of objects to work on here so if you are interested in learning this uh you can go over to my second channel uh top channel one sorry blender money and uh, watch uh, the uh, course directly there you can see i have um, i've uploaded quite a a few uh, courses there uh, if you want to learn things like that, you can go over there and uh, start learning directly there. Uh, again, if you want to download the project files that I'm using here, you can go to my Gumroad page. Uh, that is Gumroad Stroke Ismail's VFX. Or go to my Patreon page. I'll be uploading the texture files, uh, sorry, the project files directly there so that you can examine the project. Uh, otherwise, you can just follow the tutorial and uh, create, uh, be able to create uh, the same a thing uh, from scratch so yeah thank you for watching i'll be continuing i'll continue to update you on uh, the progress of the course uh, while i make uh, more uh, content for it so thank you for watching